to the rails now, where tonight commuters get their chance to sound off about all the problems with Metro North's New Haven line. As you know, commuters have been just furious because this winter of snowstorms have left about 40 percent of the rail cars out of service and forced the line to go on a reduced schedule. News 8's Ken Pierce on the scene in New Haven with more. It's a meeting that's likely to be as packed as a Metro North platform at rush hour. Tonight's meeting of the Connecticut Rail Commuter Council. There are going to be a lot of people there complaining because these days when it comes to Metro North, there's a lot to complain about. I'd say it's the smell of the bathrooms. They need to keep it cleaner in there. Tickets are too expensive. Because sometimes it's hard to change a, a ticket or, or to, to get an exchange or, or a refund. I don't really know. Like, it's really cold. They should, like, heat up the inside more. Those are just some of the complaints we'll probably hear at tonight's commuter council meeting, but the biggest complaint of all this winter is how many train cars have broken down due to winter weather. Last week, News 8 went to the repair shop to find out what was going on. The answer is these old train cars literally suck ice and snow right into the motor. The blower is mounted on a duct which blows in over the open portion there. There's a cover that actually latches on there and it blows in and then there's some self-cooling features on there. So what it does, it ends up blowing things right through the motor. As a result, about 40% of the train cars are in for repairs every day. Metro North actually had to change their schedule to allow for fewer trains. Mechanics are trying their best, but these cars are just too old. That brings up the other big complaint we'll hear tonight. New cars. These cars are older than me. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel old on a day like today. <laughs> the state bought 342 new, state-of-the-art Kawasaki M8 rail cars. They started that process six years ago, but not one is in service yet. They have to go through rigorous testing before they go into service. Nothing wrong with that. But these new cars keep failing the tests. So many deadlines have come and gone that many commuters have stopped believing any promises of new cars. For people waiting on the platform in New Haven, those new trains are right there, so tantalizingly close. Now, nobody from Kawasaki or from the company doing the testing is going to be at tonight's meeting, but you can be there. It's at 7 o'clock in Stanford at the Government Center on Washington Boulevard. We've got more information on our website, WTNH.com. On the scene in New Haven, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.